Most believe to be a princess, one must be dressed in the biggest of riches and possess a coveted complexion. But what makes one a true princess cannot be found with the eyes. It is found within one's heart. For a lavish appearance cannot rule a kingdom, nor unite thousands, but a good heart can do just that and more. So for the next Space Awards, our first challenge was royalty. So I decided to turn into a hot couture version of Belle from Beauty and the Beast. And right now we are in Paris, France. No, this is not a fake background. I'm really here because this is where Belle originated from. This is her homeland. So if you guys want to know how to get this look, just keep on watching. But before you go and watch, you can actually vote for this look in the Next Face Awards. And you can vote up to three times a day, every single day. All you have to do is click the link in the description box and your votes do matter and they do count. So if you guys want to vote for it, feel free to. But let's go ahead and start into the tutorial. So to start off, apply your foundation and concealer as usual. In case you're wondering, nearly all the products and brushes that I'm using are from NYX Cosmetics and I will be linking all the products down below in the description box in chronological order. So starting with the brows, I'm going for an arch elongated look. Follow the guidelines I'm drawing here if you want to do the same thing and fill them in. So onto the eyes, I'm taking heavy inspiration from Cogsworth's color scheme, so I'm starting off with an orange. Make sure to use a compact brush to apply it and use a fluffy brush to blend it out. Then apply a dark bronze on top of it to give it depth. Next, apply a gold base shadow on the lid and then apply glitter primer over it because we will be applying gold glitter in the center for a pop of royalty. Make sure to avoid getting glitter in your crease so it doesn't look odd when you open your eyes. Now to make this look more sleek, extend the eyeshadow out with the same colors and then use concealer to straighten out the edges of the eyeshadow. Now apply some eyeliner. I'm not applying any into the inner corners just so the look isn't so heavy. Then you want to apply dramatic false lashes and some mascara. To tie the eyes in, use the same shadows and eyeliner to do the lower lash line. Now add glitter to your inner lower lash line just to balance out all that glitter you have going on on top. If you want that extra detail, add yellow dots to the tear ducts. Fun makeup fact, adding these dots will actually increase people's eye contact and attention. For the lips, we are definitely taking heavy inspiration from the Enchanted Rose by mimicking the color gradiency of a rose. For this, use the dark red lip liner and draw your lips in a pouty shape. Be sure to make this line quite thick. Then take the lighter red lip liner and fill in the rest. 
To blend the two, smudge the edge with your finger and to get a crisp look, make sure to refine your edges with a small brush and concealer. Lastly, the contour. I have absolutely fallen in love with this dark peachy NYX blush. It actually works super amazing as a light fresh contour. And I'm actually leaving the lines quite harsh just to give my face more edge. Alrighty, so this is the finished look. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys like this look and I will see you guys in my next video.